Welcome to the next Q&A for Trauma Healing and Life Counseling. In this video I will answer question 63. I imagine transformation and honest sharing as opposed to temporary release happens when over time I manage to get conscious about and share the core conflict with its needs and feelings and projections. Could you give some guidelines on how to not get stuck in peripheral layers of strategies, judgments of self and other, please? While honest sharing is not about inquiry and digging, it might still help a great deal to know the territory from periphery to the core as defenses will show up inevitably. I see that in many experienced people. Thank you. Your question is a peripheral layer of avoiding the direct contact. Instead of sharing what's there, you ask this question. There's no need to answer this question. It's about sharing what's there. And if this question has energy for you, then share this question in your mind. You don't have to care for others. Caring for others, trying to get meta contexts and understanding the whole is a means of separation and to avoid the honest sharing. The mind is very tricky. As long as we are identified with the mind, he can mislead us and camouflage it as a cooperation for honest sharing. It's not a cooperation. The mind wants to protect you and protection from his point of view, and this is the reality of the childhood, means to separate. But today it's not about separation, it's about bridging the separation. And bridging the separation happens if we force ourselves in a way to really follow the procedure of honest sharing and trust it. So I would recommend to exactly and precisely, precisely follow the simple instructions of honest sharing and do it to the end. And if you have done it to the total end and you have not experienced a total transformation, then please write me and we can discuss it. But this will never happen. It's impossible to happen. You see, every problem with honest sharing just means that for any reason the process of honest sharing is interrupted. And um, you write, when over time I managed, managed to get conscious about and share the core conflict with its needs and feelings and projections, even this is too much. You don't have to get somewhere. You don't have to find your core conflict. It's not a that you have to find your core conflict and then share it and then the transformation happens. No. The transformation happens in that moment that you share what's there. Whether it is a peripheral layer, the core conflict or emptiness or indifference, it doesn't matter. The sharing and the transformation, the path and the goal is the same. Honest sharing in itself is path and goal at the same time. And the mind always wants to lead you onto a path. No, it's not a path. The solution is already that. This is a peripheral layer to think about it. Yeah? And that just means that you are identified with this question. And this, again, distracts you from the, from the actual process of sharing. You write, while honest sharing is not about inquiry and digging, yes, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's not about inquiry and digging. It's about sharing what's there. Inquiry and digging, from my point of view, is spiritual misguidance. You're right. It might still help a great deal to know the territory from periphery to the core. No. No. Just no. It doesn't help. It distracts you. You don't need to know anything. It's about sharing, not knowing. 
It's uh, similar to the question before. It's just a mind, yeah, avoiding his death. If you share what's there, the mind, the ego, will die. And these questions come from the ego, from the part that had to separate in childhood to survive, to stay stable. So either forget about the question and continue with honest sharing or share this question itself. Share what's there and the solution will happen in that very moment.